third in the end. But they picked up enough points to mean that should they win their quarter-final in Munich, if they get there, they will be through to Madrid no matter what happens elsewhere. Tony Amondi gets Kenya underway. And Japan realign this uh, Simon Amor coached team that are going through a transition in their style of play. Had a tough outing in Montevideo. They learnt a lot from that encounter, particularly that first match against Hong Kong where they never got out of the blocks and life was difficult after that. Have to start well against Kenya here. So knocked into the stands by Ryota Kano. <laughs> and there goes Kano to take the line out and find his jumper. But he hits it too long, and Kevin Wakesa was almost away, and that's always dangerous. So Kenya's starting seven, including Vincent Onyala and Tony Omondi, the two co-captains, they're on from the start. Patrick Odongo lies on the very left-hand wing, away from this scrum. They cannot wait to get the ball into that man's hands. 11 tries he scored in the first challenger leg in Dubai. He was unstoppable. But it's Japan with the ball here. First chance from the scrum, right? Take a hard line through the middle with Fukushi. Kena wants to move this quickly. Taiga Oshida is on the edge. But Dongo's first act here in Munich is a defensive one, makes his tackle. Kano goes back to the right-hand side. Matsumoto, good jinking feet from Maru. That's lovely hands from Japan. Ishida creates a switch with Fukushi and then one with Kano. And Vincent Onyala with the high tackle, so Kano goes again. Good speed on this. Again round the edge with Kipe Ishida. Dangerous feet from any point on the pitch. The number 18 for Japan. Brimming with confidence this morning, the Japanese. Flick out the back, onto the edge with Taiga Ishida. Legs taken as Odongo tries to go high. Kano. Good hands again from Fukushi. They've won an opportunity on the edge to get the first score and diving in. Taking to the air to do it but it's Shotaro Suoka who opens things up from Japan. Patience and skill and precision and all that just to create a meter of opportunity. And it was finished by Showtime Shotaro. So good in the air, this man. Japan with the early score against Kenya. Three and a half minutes nearly of continuous play from the Japanese. Fast kickoff, but Kenya alive to it with Onyala. Now they'll show what they've got and you can expect. You can guarantee things will be a little bit more direct. Here's a dongo fed up of waiting for the ball on his wing, so he picks it up from the ruck. Taken by Takamasa Maru. And Yala. Spin and pass was from Asati, and they are copping some shots here. Kenya. They're keeping the ball alive, good press from Japan, it's going to work to the edge here, and that's all it will take for the first score. Kevin Wakesa will run it home, unopposed from 50 metres. The press defence overstretching. And Kevin Wakesa brings out the dancing in the stands for the first time today.
Knocked over by Tony Amondi. And Kenya with the two-point lead. Well, all the intention in defence was admirable from Japan, but great vision from Kenya. Wakesa well, took one step to his left and had the space on the outside. Amondi's kickoff. Taken by Ishida. Back to Kipe Ishida. Live wire. Half back. Fukushi. Oh, hitch and go from Junior Matsumoto. Japan having to realign quickly, but they are well numbered here. And a chance to. Engage in a first sprint of the morning. On the outside goes Suoka again, but he's just beaten to it. Taken back by Ram. Shitaro Suoka lurking, but big Vincent Yonala put in a shift to make back for that. Lung busting opening seven minutes from these two teams. Japan stretching. Kenya to their extremes, and yet still First two points good. down. First goal is good, I got it. Bang! Set. Let's go. Stay there, man. Put it by Kano. Opened okay, up by Maru, and a little reach for it from Fukushi. used his big frame to okay. make the most of that. Shida has to hold himself back there from taking that quickly, instead opting for the scrum. Yeah, go-ahead score in the offing for this Japanese team heading into half-time. Finished uh, in fifth place in Dubai. They were in the frame for finishing in the top four at that point, but they had a poor outing in Montevideo, coming 10th. Bouncing back from this in Munich, though. Cannot, little step. Leave it leave it. Ishida. Fukushi stretches and dives down, gets around Amaitsa. And Moeki Fukushi puts Japan in the lead. Experienced head of Ryota Kano, and he makes the most of that. So 12-7 to Japan over Kenya at half-time. Thank 
Ligue Game Star. Le bol tout le monde, Ligue Star. Kenya with matches to come against Chile and Portugal later on today. And Japan the same on those opposition Portugal and Chile line wait for them in this pool C. Both these teams building towards the Olympic Games as well this season. Japan in the process of switching their style of play from when they qualified for the Olympics for a style which will be more competitive come Paris 2024. That's the aim of Simon Amor's team. And on this evidence, in these first seven minutes against Kenya, they have brought a different level of intensity and organisation and they're flying into Kenyan bodies again. Hurling this over to Wakesa and saying, sort me out, please. Wakesa does slow things down. There's a Dongo. He doesn't need any space at all. Working away in that five-metre channel. First defender of the weekend beaten. Japan a little over-eager in the end. Now Kenya might strike here. Mondi fighting so hard to work an overlap here on Yala does so. Now Kenya are going to be into the clear here. John Okoff has waited and waited and now opens up. Striding down towards the try zone. John Okoff and Kenya begin the second half on the front foot. Well, they're always on the front foot. Those conversions becoming very important indeed. Tony Amondi knocking it over. John Arkoff opens his account for the weekend. Five to play. This opening match for both teams. Time off. It's the scenic route versus the express highway in terms of styles between these two. Kenya just requiring a couple of passes to go the distance, and Japan passing and moving and passing again, getting around the edge of Kenya. Maybe the next blow from either contender will be the one that carries this one all the way to the final whistle. Brutal beginning for both teams. So tight out there, and now it lands in Kenya's hands again. And here we'll see Patrick Odongo spinning those twin turbos for the first time this weekend. Patrick Odongo is back, and Kenya hit three. The star of the challenger back in Dubai. He's had to wait for his chance here. This one was given to him. And he eats up those meters. Is it open now? No, I just. Only when um, Multamash is finished. Okay. Coolly done again from Amondi. Kenya 21 12 up. And uh, any morning nerves that may have been out there amongst the Kenyan faithful dissipating. Not even been a year since Kenya were 
knocked off the World Series for the first time. It ended a 19-year run as a core side last May when they lost to Canada. And it really hurt rugby in Kenya. It hurt this group of players. But they've responded with their typical style and excitement. But even more energy. And on Yala with the pass to try and set things up, but a forward pass. Not forward, forward pass. Simon Amor. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quite a few growing pains. Yes, 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 yes. With the team, but. It doesn't take long for the squad to learn. But, uh, this performance has been a good one. When you compare to where they were in March in Montevideo, it looks all out of kilter. It's a far more connected team now. Standing up, far side, straight up. George Oro comes on and hurtles towards his first line out. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, all good. Turn back on. Suwoka down the short side nicely worked and Ishida cuts back. Suwoka hitch on the outside, he'll switch with Tiger Ishida who straightens offering that all important physical element to this Japanese team but not on the floor. He is so strong in that department. Their SNC coach here, Andrew Omonde. Captain of Kenya for many seasons. Led them to their first World Series title back in 2016 as well. Andrew Monday. Okay. Red nine. So, 